Hello guys and welcome to the Giving Back Australia Get Off Drugs program. Uh, we're super excited, sitting with the amazing Stephen. Uh, Stephen, just for the record before we start, uh, whose idea was it to make this video? Mine. And why is it your idea? Because if I can help, so if I can help one person, I've done my job and it's not going to hurt to help one person at least. I'm his... Better half. Better half. And I've, I've found it very... He's changed a lot. And just the... And it's helped him quite a lot. That's amazing. Who found this originally? That was you. Uh, yeah, so it was contribution between myself and Steve and... Um, yeah, I have researched a lot of places, but this place seems um, that it would help him a lot, um, location-wise, and just everything about it seems good, so... Um, yeah. So the Muslim part didn't scare you? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> and you're Stephen's son? Yeah. Um. So I remember the first day you come through the door, you were worried, you were tired, you were anxious, a lot of feelings going on. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect. Can you talk me a little bit through that? Uh, we came in, had a meeting, um, Dad said what he was on and uh, came clean with everything and that was the start of how he's got to where he is. Actually, I believe when you first walked in, Omar and I were praying. Yeah. So that really set the mood to that. <laughs> <laughs> what change did you see in Dad uh, through the transition of the program? He was much more coherent, uh, he was able to have a conversation. Um, could hold down a job, uh, pay off his bills, just more um, structure, I guess. In a nutshell, how do you feel this program has helped your father? Well, it's helped him with something he couldn't do himself. Uh, it was only getting down, like going further downhill. It was no easy way back up. And obviously, it was your idea to also to be on the video. What advice do you guys have for anyone else that's struggling? Just give it a go. Like it can't do any worse than where they are at the moment. My advice to the world is: we should never judge a book by its cover, whether you're Muslim, Christian, or whatever religion. Doesn't matter. We should all learn to get along better.